Alright, it's time to talk about what I want you guys to write next. We are dedicating a whole month to Sabrina, she is my new pet, but sir, Sabrina is not popular with fans, they feel she is a whiny, 12 year old, Disney princess that is eating the show, I don't really give a rat's ass, Sabrina is going to be on every day. I'm also changing the name of the show to Sabrina's Hospital. I will make everyone love her. But, you can't do that, it's been called General Hospital for 50 years. The show will lose so many fans. Too bad, it's already done. I already approved the opening credits. Next I want to talk about the progress on Sonny and Kate's third wedding. I have Notre Dame Cathedral booked and the wedding will air for the anniversary show. Doesn't that use up our entire budget for the year? I don't give a crap about the budget, that's not my job. Since this wedding is in Paris, does that mean Brenda will show up? Damn it. I thought I told you guys Brenda and her history are erased from this show. She doesn't exist and I've finally got Sonny brainwashed, so he doesn't remember her. That's not fair, you haven't brought back any characters from the 90s. Moving on, Sonny and Kate will get married this time, I want every character's storylines dropped so they can attend this wedding. They are not allowed to talk about themselves or their storylines. All attention is to be on Sonny and Kate. Well that will be a skip day for me for sure, not watching that shit. Did you say something? Nothing sir, I said nothing. After the wedding, Sonny and Kate will go on a month long honeymoon in Greece, where they will make love every day and conceive twins, a boy and a girl. I think I'm going to be sick. What was that? I didn't hear. I said that sounds awesome. Good, sir, Sonny doesn't need any more kids. He barely talks to the ones he has now. Poor Morgan is stuck in military school, and that is where he'll stay. Morgan is never coming home, sir. I have some news from the internet. What does it say? Free Sonny's balls trended on Twitter. What the hell does that mean? Either the audience wants Sonny to have more sex with Kate and Connie or they want him away from the crazy nut job and back into mob business. While Connie's freeing his balls this week when they make love and I don't really care what the trends are on Twitter. We don't look at that stuff. Kate and Connie are my pets. They're never leaving Sonny. What else do you have? The fans are not feeling this surrogacy storyline. They feel it is now more about Spinelli and Maxie and no longer about Dante and Lulu getting a baby. They feel that Maxie and Lulu's friendship is being destroyed. Ellie's popularity is going down as well. Fans used to like her and now they think she is annoying because she is always yelling. I don't really give a crap. I'm probably just going to break up Lulu and Dante. I want Lulu and Olivia to fight over Johnny, since Steve will be leaving us. I'm going to make Ellie yell some more, it should be fun. Speaking of Johnny, the fans are upset that he is in prison serving a 20 year sentence, when Connie is still walking around free and will probably get off scot free for everything she's done. They also are upset that Johnny gave his shares of the haunted star to star. Connie is my pet, I can't have her in jail and Johnny is dead to me, I'm done with him. Why do you think I spent a whole year ruining his miserable life? As for the haunted star, Connie and Star are scheduled to jail a wrestle on the gym set. Winner gets the shares fair and square. The fans also hate the whole vampire storyline. They think it's nonsense. It's just a nod to Port Charles. It will be over soon. Maybe they should watch it. They'll probably find out that Caleb is not really a vampire anyway. Now I think we are about done here. What about the fake spoilers for the internet? Oh yes. Everyone take notes. Number 1, Connie is shot in the head and falls into a coma for 3 months. Number 2, Brit is killed when she is thrown into a wood chipper. Number 3, Robin reunites with Patrick, they leave poor Charles and live happily ever after. Number 4, Todd, Star, and McBain all get kicked into the harbor off Pier 52 by Helena, no one cares or notices that they are missing. Number 5, AJ brings Kentucky Fried Chicken to Elizabeth's house for their date, later they watch all three Toy Story movies. Alright you guys know the drill, spread those around and see which ones are most popular, so I know never to do them. Excuse me, sir. What the hell are you doing in here, Elizabeth? 
I thought I made it clear that characters are not permitted in the writer's room. I'm sorry, sir, but Connie and Brenda are fighting. Damn it. Who the hell let Brenda out of the GH closet? No one. They are fighting through the door. Connie says Brenda was calling her names and she's only defending herself. I don't know if that's the truth, though, since Connie lies so much. I don't care who started it. You tell both of them that if they don't stop, I will write them both as best friends, if and when I ever decide to have Brenda back on the show. They will share every scene together, they will be roommates who become lovers. Okay sir, I'll tell them. Good because I'm tired of those two fighting, and I'm tired of you fighting with Sam. I don't know how anyone expects to ever achieve world peace, if the people in our own country can't stop shooting each other. We have to start here. Now go make nice with Sam and tell her you're sorry for switching the paternity test results. Hey, now wait a minute that was your fault. I only did what was in the script, because you guys made me. Yeah, whatever. Can I ask one more thing? Fine, what is it? Can I have a storyline? No, you can't have a storyline. Are you crazy? Everyone get out, this meeting is adjourned. I need to go see if there is anyone else I can block on Twitter.